back at Hollywood Studios. I see projections on Tower of Terror. Hey everybody, it's Friday night after work. We're at Hollywood Studios at night to check out all things Christmas in November. All right, we made it through Security Theater. Look at how awesome this looks lit up here. Look at Santa. I love the way some of these decorations look so retro. Let's get a look around. I probably should have got a time schedule so I could figure out when this show is. So over here tonight we've got Jingle Ball, Jingle Bam! And over here, it's the Tower of Terror projection show. So many people here. It's like the tree lighting at Rockefeller Center.
show is awesome. I remember watching it like four times because I wasn't sure there were differences on the screens. You really have to stand like right in front of this Fairfax food in order to be able to see the little show on the screen first and then the projection up there. Otherwise you're just kind of hearing this and not understanding what's happening. You can meet Santa again at once upon a time but he's actually on a break right now eating some milk and cookies. Drinking some milk I guess. He'll be back. Of course, right when Jingle Ball, Jingle Bam is taking place. This is like my worst nightmare. I hate giant crowds like this. There's a pretty big sized crowd already one hour away from Jingle Ball, Jingle Bam. It's dawned on me that it may be Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam. I, I don't know. Let's check out some decorations around Echo Lake. I love those retro decorations. Oh, look at that Christmas tree. This looks so cool. So cool. I love it. The dinosaur's eyes light up too. Retro Santa. One more look. I love how the reflections look different no matter where we stand around the lake. These are awesome. There's one more angle on the tree. We've got the ship over here. Just walking around to see how it looks each way. And before Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam starts, they do have some light projections on the Chinese theater, giving people the warm up taste before it starts. It is packed here. I'm trying to decide if it's better to stand off to the side, like over here, or go to the middle, further back. But I think this might be a better shot. It's the Ladies and girls, Disney's Hollywood Studios invites you to join us for our Holly Jolly Holiday Spectacular. Get ready for a rockin' good time and enjoy Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell! gentlemen, boys and girls, direct from Santa's Village, the North Pole Christmas Eve Command Center Coordinator, McGee! Hello, Disney's Hollywood Studios! Tonight we've got a special holiday transmission from the big guy himself, Santa Claus. And to make sure the site is holly jolly, I'm sending in our top prep and landing team, Lenny and Wayne. It's classified Kringle level nine, but prep and landing are an elite unit of elves who get houses around the world ready for the big guy's arrival. Their mission, get in, get out, never be noticed. Oh, Lenny, Wayne, where are you? Right 
before Christmas? Okay, we need stealth and speed. This calls for Thrasher the Reindeer. Thrasher, good buddy, get us out of here. Jingle bell, jingle bam! That was pretty awesome, better than last year. And snowing outside. The park actually closed before jingle bam, and they're still doing the projection thing more than 25 minutes later. Look at this window. It's pretty cool. In this window, the candles kind of move the flames. Santa's wrapping up in there. We didn't go see him today. All right, projections. We're gonna get out of here, I think. So with an hour and a half in the park today, we were able to do these projections and the projection show on Chinese theater. Next week, or actually this weekend, starts the projections on Hogwarts at Universal. And of course, they have the Frozen projections going on at the Magic Kingdom on Cinderella Castle. That's a lot of projections. The park's been closed for 40 minutes, but this is the way I would love to see the crowds here all the time. This looks cool. I like the view going out of the park more than I do going in the park. So I also think this is the first time I've ever come to this park and not done something Star Wars related. All right, we're gonna head out of Hollywood Studios. Couple of thoughts here. Um, one, as far as Christmas stuff goes, it feels way early to be doing Christmas. And I know that there's two sides of the fence where people are like, bring it on. And I mean, you know, instead of another week of Halloween, 
I could see Christmas, and I see the the reason for having Christmas at the parks now, especially because you have tourists coming in and you want them to draw, be drawn in for another holiday event here. Christmas is huge. Um, it just doesn't necessarily feel like Christmas yet. I mean, right now we're in uh, getting into like the second week of um, November. The other thing is Hollywood Studios used to have the Osborne lights, um, and I'd say like you know projections on the Tower of Terror really neat to look at really fun um, the jingle ball jingle bell jingle bam show it's a fun show they added more fireworks this year than last year so it has a little bit more of a punch um, but it's not a replacement for Osborne lights I think Osborne lights was a destination that people came to if you are on the fence and you're vacationing and not sure if you wanted to come to Hollywood Studios you still got to keep in mind they basically have like four active rides right now they have a lot of Star Wars stuff we didn't do any of Star Wars stuff today because we do it all the time um, but as far as holidays um, bringing you in, um, that's kind of like the offerings. They have other knickknack things too, like um, different um, pastries and some hot chocolate things and stuff like that. But um, as far as visuals to see and things to suck up, uh, things to soak up your time, um, we pretty much did it all here. And it was cool. Don't get me wrong, it's cool. Um, I'm also always thinking about like people that are coming here and um, on vacation and they're paying for a full day ticket to go see that stuff it may not be full day ticket cool for you to spend your money on but um, if you have a park hopper or you're a pass holder it's pretty awesome well, let's move on out of Hollywood Studios parking lot as a result of construction going on in the parking lot here and the parking lot kind of being narrowed a little bit um, it's a traffic nightmare to get out of here right now probably the thing that's needed the most is like some type of cast member to be directing the merging all right, I'm back home from Hollywood Studios. Begun the projection wars have started. I'm not sure I'll make it over to Universal Studios tomorrow night to see Hogwarts and we'll catch it at some point. I think the real difficult thing is that when all of these projections, it's like everybody is migrated to one area at one time and the crowds are not for me. What is for me is sleep. And I think I'm gonna to try to wake up and go to a Renaissance Fair tomorrow, but We'll see how that goes. On that note, thank you very much for coming along with me over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Our Star Wars Less vlog. Um, hope you enjoyed the holiday stuff. Thank you very much for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.